Hi, welcome to Art with Jim Freehart. Do a little bit of a study on waves. I've already done several, but until now I haven't really done a sketching one that shows how to create a wave to look like the perspective is correct in a seascape. So in other words, the wave will have us, for example, an oval, the oval of the breaking wave, and the peak of the wave, and the back of the wave, and the crashing part of the wave. This oval would be shaped like this, and leaning away from the beach, I guess you could say. If this was going to be the beach along here, this is the way you'd make it look like you're looking diagonally down the beach and into the open barrel of the wave here. So, I'll just do a super quick little sketch with this to give you an idea. Here's the, here's the, here's the barrel of the wave. Here's the wave crashing over. Here's the splashing foam coming up. And I make it the same way I kind of make clouds, which I will be doing in another lesson really soon. So here's, these lines will show you the the shape of the wave. Uh, Vincent van Gogh was a master at creating depth in his work, in my opinion, by the lines he used, which I will show you in just a little bit what I mean by that. Well, these lines, they're curved to, to represent the, the curvature of the wave there. And here the line is starting to come over and starting to, to crash, the wave starting to crash. So, shade that in real quickly, smudge it a little bit, make these lines more distinct so you can really see. Here's the breaking wave. So here, there it is again. We're looking inside the barrel of the wave. It's dark and shadowed up inside here, depending on where the light is. Usually the light's overhead, so this would be more lit up here, and it would be a shadow inside the barrel, or inside the tube of the wave. Okay, now these lines get more relaxed, more reclining, leaning back like that as you get further away from the steep part of the wave. Here it's getting steeper and steeper, getting ready to crash. Come over, here's the foam along the lip of the wave. It comes down and it hits and it splashes up like that. And then these little lines here, that show the bottom of the wave where it starts to be flat again will go along in front of the foam. The foam splashes up and, and becomes kind of flat on the bottom here in front of the, um, the foam area. It'll be kind of flat, flattened lines here. Anyway, then along here, I'm getting a little carried away, but let's just have the the wave coming in front of this, another wave, the one that just came in. This is sort of, uh, by putting these lines curved and standing up, it gives you the idea that this is, this is not a skinny little layer of water here. It's, uh, it stands up. It's like a little bit of a stair step. So then it becomes horizontal here. It's a really neat, fun thing that I like to do, too. I love to make the water look shiny and reflective. So watch what I can do. So pose just right here. If I put some vertical streaks directly in front of any of the darker areas that I've touched with my pencil, vertical streaks starting kind of dark and getting lighter and lighter and lighter. These, these little streaks, in just a moment, you'll see how they start to make it look like this is glassy or glossy water right in front of the foam. So watch what I can do. So we go back to these horizontal lines here. There's a few horizontal lines going across in front of that water. These vertical streaks, watch, I'm just gonna go with my finger, just smudge them straight up and down, coming from the bottom of the foam, straight down, right there, straight down. And then I put a few little horizontal lines here again. There you go. This is kind of 
this is starting to give some depth to this, what's going to be a little tiny uh, beach scene or ocean scene. Now behind the wave, let's put the next wave in there. It's not quite as, as rough as this one is here. It's further away and it's smaller, but it has the same lines as we had over in here. Those lines would indicate that the wave's starting to stand up. It's starting to stand up. And then maybe over here, it might even get even more steep. The lines might get more steep and we might have a wave breaking here where we have a miniature version of this wave. We've got another one down on down the beach there. And then the foam splashing up. And then the horizontal lines in between here. Another bit of ocean further out like that, where it gets really horizontal and pretty even. No longer has the variation in in it because it's so far away it all pretty much looks flat out there. Okay, mm, that's about it for now. Uh, don't forget to sign your drawing. Jim Free Heart. Celebrate the gift of life. I hope you do. hope you have a wonderful day and don't ever forget how precious life is. If you enjoyed the video like it down below and uh, subscribe I'd love to uh, I'll stay in touch if you click on the little bell I will uh, you'll get notifications I guess when I have a new video come out and if you have any comments or requests for some other future drawing lesson feel free to comment and I may be able to help you with something have a beautiful day bye bye